In 1859, the English naturalist Charles Darwin published his now seminal work on the origin of species, in which he sets out the theory of evolution through natural selection. Prior to Darwin, the prevailing theory of the time as to the origin of species was religious creationism, which held that species existed by divine design to fulfill a natural function, and that any variation from that function was a departure from the intended ideal. Darwin rejected this idea, claiming instead that natural variations in organisms, which occur through a process that he called descent with modification, would in fact alter the organism's ability to survive and reproduce. Organisms with variations that greatly increase their ability to survive would quickly outdo their competitors, increase in number, and may even go on to form entirely new species. This process Darwin called natural selection. An example of natural selection in action is the peppered moth. In 19th century Britain, a variant of the peppered moth, which was black in colour, became particularly prevalent in urban areas due to high levels of soot and pollution. This resulted in the black peppered moth becoming much harder for predators to spot, thereby increasing its ability to survive and produce offspring. In this way, when compared with the original variant, we may say that the black variant of the peppered moth had what Darwin called greater evolutionary fitness, where fitness refers not to the literal physical fitness of the organism per se, but rather its propensity to survive in a particular environment. However, Darwin went on to concede that natural selection could not explain all observed traits, as some traits appear at least ostensibly to be deleterious to an organism's survival. One such example Darwin provides is the plumage of the peacock, which is not only costly to grow in terms of energy, but also makes the peacock an easier target for predators. To answer this conundrum, Darwin proposed the idea of sexual selection. Sexual selection is the idea that the evolutionary hurdles which an organism must overcome don't just come from factors in the natural environment, such as access to food or the ability to evade predation, but also come from the predilections of potential mating partners. These sexual preferences, Darwin proposed, can result in the evolution of sexually selected traits, such as skillful nest building, decorative appearance, and flamboyant visual or vocal displays. If you enjoyed this video, click like and subscribe for more content just like it. And until next time, thanks for watching.